You got people that are living double lives, you know, living, you know, two characters, you know, two gimmicks, you know, there's always two sides or three sides to, you know, a lot of people, you know, but for the sake of their image, they only want to show you the good side. They only want to show you one side and that one side is their fabricated image, you know, but they ain't going to show you the other sides. They're not going to show you the other side to their character. Nah. And some people just some people they just want to f trick you into thinking that they are what they seem to be, right? Just so they can get close to you. There's a lot of examples of you know friendships just going haywire. Friendships ending over a petty dispute over dumb reasons, right? Over money, over a disagreement. Right? Just petty stuff. You got you got you got friends that are willing to delete another friend over some jealous stuff, over you know, competition, beating being in competition with one another, right? Your homeboy could be trying to set you up, right? harm you because he's jealous that you are ascending that you are leveling up in life and he can't stand it he's jealous that you are given more opportunities because you have put in more work than your friend did your homeboy did right same with you ladies man same thing with you ladies you're always going to have a woman in competition with you right you may think she your friend and smiling in your face and saying all this sweet stuff to you and complimenting you and all this bullshit but behind closed doors she's scoffing at you behind your back she's giving you an evil look an evil stare right she's planning on how to take you out right you got you, you just got some friends man that will literally stab you in the back because they feel like if you're not around they feel a lot better about themselves. And honestly, man, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. You know? I don't worry about trying to make friends with people. You know, me being a lone wolf, I went through... Let me tell you something, man. I went through depression being a lone wolf and, and dealing with loneliness at, at a stage in my life. Right? But it came to a point where I had to grow up. And I had to get over that, that, that pain, that sadness. I had to get over that, man. Because I was still attached to friendships that were never meant to be in the first place. Right? I was still attached to, to people. But, you know, it came to a point and I had to wake up to break that attachment. To become detached from people, the world... And walk this path that God wants me to walk. You know what I'm saying? I have no desires to follow the world. Okay? I have no desire to follow the way of the heathen. For, they, for their ways are wicked. So, you know, if you follow the Most High, you're not, gonna, you're not going to have no fellowship with the heathen. Because you know their ways are wicked. And you have to look out for people's wicked ways. Yeah, you may have to be around them long enough to, to see what they're really all about. You feel me? I don't always trust energy. I don't always trust vibes. I've been around a lot of toxic individuals in my life. The, friend, the friendships that I did have, they were toxic. Oh, they were very toxic. They were not the right type of people for me. But because I let loneliness, because I let uh, fear of missing out, I let that pollute my mind to where, oh, I, I must need friends. Because, you know, if I'm not doing this, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm not being this way, if I'm not wearing this, I'm not cool. Because I'm not following the trend. So I got to follow the trend in order to be cool, in, in order to fit in, in order to blend in with, with the rest of the kids 
with the rest of the people, right? But when I was much younger, that was my mindset. 13, 14, as a teenager, that was my mindset, right? But I had to kill, man. I had to kill that that part of me. I had to kill that side of me, man. I had to bury that, that version of me underground. That version of me no longer exists because I'm free of being a lone wolf, man. It, it means that I'm free of the opinions of, I should say, being controlled by the opinions of others, right? People are always going to have opinions of you, but I choose to not be controlled by those opinions. I choose not to be swayed by those opinions. I choose not to have my my light, my light dimmed from those opinions at all, you know? And that's how y'all got to move, man. You just have to stop caring about validation, right? That's another thing about being a lone wolf. Being free of validation and acceptance. You don't need it. You don't need validation. You really don't, man. The only validation you need is from the Most High. That's it. That's it. Not from your parents, not from your friends, not from your next door neighbor. They don't they don't matter. Not from your coworker, not from your boss. They don't matter. Stop trying to seek validation from imperfect people, from people that have their own demons. And speaking of demons, speaking of demons, man, I'm telling you, man, on retention, man, you're going to rattle some demons, bro, within people. Let me tell you that right now. And the reason why people may not Hold on. Let me let me fix that. Correct that real quick. The reason why people come across as being kind and respectful and giving you good vibes and good energy, right? They just want to show that side of themselves for a, for a minute, right? But there are some people that they look at you and they see a light in you, right? They know that you are of the most high. They just feel it, man. Like this energy that you're holding on to, it just radiates within the atmosphere. Like people can't miss it. They cannot miss it. They they, they can't help but notice it. Right? But when they look at you, they feel that energy for some reason and it just rattles their demons. And it causes them to switch up on you out of nowhere. You may not even know the reason why they switched up on you. One day they're cool with you, next day they're not. One day they gave you good energy, next day they're lukewarm as hell. They don't even look at you, they don't, they don't even bother to talk to you. Right? They're on some weird stuff, man. They're on some weird shit. So... You're wondering like, okay, what's up with this guy? What's his problem? I thought we was cool. I thought we was kicking it. Right? Nah, that's not how that's not how it goes. That's not that's not what the intention was. 